Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Leo, your general theme for the month. Whoa, it's all over the place. So what they're saying is the general theme, something that's hidden in the subconscious is there's a lot of healing going on that maybe you're not aware of. This could happen through your dreams. It can just happen when you're sleeping. It can just happen because you've maybe some of you have just finally taken some time to slow down because you're home. <laughs> um, but the subconscious healing has happened and you might not be super aware of it. So what they're saying is um, this is a good time to really fully indulge in self-care. Maybe you do that through online shopping. Maybe it's a really long bubble bath. You know, maybe it's just taking time to read a book that you've always wanted to do. It doesn't matter how you do it so long as you do it. Um, what they're saying is, you know, think about the ways that you used to always put yourself first as a child this is the opportune month to be doing that for you and it does heal a lot of subconscious baggage that we drag around through our life that kind of prevents us from getting where we want to go so what does the beginning of the month look like for you leo okay so the beginning of the month is a change in perspective and one that's needed that helps bring about more security and stability moving forward in your life also predictability so that when things are spontaneous and unexpected it's because you choose them to be that way because it's fun so um the middle of the month scorpio had something similar where it's all about getting organized and figuring out how to complete things and do things on your own towards the end of the month you might not be feeling very joyous and happy now why is that the case and they're just saying because change is hard even though it's for for our benefit even though you know um beautiful things come later the process of change is not always easy so what is this big change that they're talking about and they said you know it's changing to focus on what is it that i actually want and what is it that i actually need and how do i get that um because many readings actually have been leading this way i'm going a lot of people don't know uh, because I do it on an invite only basis based on certain regular clients that I have and what their needs are. Um, but I think I'm going to start offering at least this month, coach, I, I'm a happiness and purpose, like certified life coach. So um, I'm, and I combine that with tarot. I think I'm gonna start offering that actually. So if you're interested in that special, um, there's a link below to my website and I'll make sure that I build that at least for the month of May to kind of help people moving in the directions of their dreams. It's not going to be like a full coaching program, but just like a like a two hour session. OK, so anyway, if you're not interested in that, sorry, but I just didn't want to forget. And now my assistant will <laughs> remind me as she edits these videos. Shout out to Lexi. You're the best. I, you guys um, put it in the comments. Thanks, Lexi, if you appreciate her, because I think I tell her all the time, but she needs to hear it because she's amazing. Okay, best part of your month that you don't have to say anything to anyone, really. You know, that nothing has to be talked about. You don't need anybody's permission to figure out what it is that you want to do and how you're going to do it. 
They're saying, you know, this is a slow process, but whatever. And also, I feel like there's going to be somebody who tells you a lie that misleads you. And so you're going to think that you can't move forward and, you know, achieve your dreams or whatever. But it's not about you and it's not true. Like if somebody doubts you this month, if you were to share, this is maybe why it's not like the best idea to share your dreams and stuff until you've already launched them. Because other people are going to talk you down. Oh, that's crazy. That's silly. There's no market for that. Well, bullshit, that's a lie. And, you know, if you decide to allow you, allow that to not push you forward, you know, if you if you decide to take that as um, wisdom or something and not move towards what it is that you desire, what it is that you want, well, you're screwing yourself. But you could also use it as fuel to prove them wrong. And so for those of you who do, that's the best part. And I mean, this doesn't necessarily mean like starting your own business or like side hustle. Um, this could even be, you know, I'm going to try to have a baby, even though I've had fertility problems or something like that. It could be any of those things. So um, you can do whatever you set your mind to and don't let other people tell you otherwise. Th there's also on my website um, going to be a link for not on my website, but in the description box below, it is on my website. But I have a blog page that tells you the crystals that help you if you're experiencing infertility, for example, okay? Um, so biggest challenge for you this month is also gonna be the lies that people tell you, the deceit, how people mislead you. But they're saying use that as a catalyst for change, for getting what you want, for really fully blossoming, spreading those big butterfly wings, okay? Um, the guidance for you this month is two things. Number one, speak your truth, okay? And so you can ask Archangel Gabriel, um, that's the messenger angel, as many of you know, to help you to speak with integrity and kind of to stand your ground. Now, um, you've got to co-create. You've got to manifest what it is you want. So first, number one, identify what you want. Number two, then take baby steps towards building towards that. And the universe kind of aligns what you need to walk down the path of what it is you desire. Um, your crystal of the month is amethyst, which I think will be helpful um, just because that'll help give you that psychic insight and awareness that'll to plug you in to achieving whatever it is that you want. Um, further, it's one of the crystals that I recommended in another blog post um, for quarantine times, crystals to get you through. Um, so check those out. I love you so much and I'll see you next month.